Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new month. We're comparing this month's Loot Crate and Nerd Block to see which is the better boxer of the month. You're going to have to apologize for the setup. I'm kind of doing what I can as Graphic Policy Headquarters is under construction due to rampaging Jawas. A um, little buggers were everywhere. But yeah, so we're going on anyways and doing whatever videos we can as best as we can while things get put back together. Uh, so this month we've got two themes, uh, the Nerd Block was straight up Star Wars, Galaxy Far Far Away, and then Loot Crate did just Galaxy. So both had very similar themes for the month, what a shock considering Star Wars is out and currently all the rage. So, first up we're going to talk Nerd Block. Nerd Block had an interesting uh, theme, as I said it was Star Wars, they had a t-shirt that was this artsy Kylo Ren shirt, which was kind of cool. I, you know, it's not bad. I don't know if I necessarily would wear it, um, but it is what it is. Uh, they have a non-exclusive pop. This one uh, that I got was the TIE Fighter Pilot. They have uh, the Ice Cube tray. I got the Star Wars vehicles. I want to say I have another Star Wars one, but I'm not 100% sure. And then finally... Uh, or not finally. We also have a keychain that is Han's blaster that you could also maybe turn into a necklace. And mouse, not a uh, mouse pad that says need uh, to cool down, visit Hoth. And then finally, it fits the Star Wars theme, is a Star Trek uh, insignia pin. It's a movie era captain rank pin in honor of Leonard Nimoy who passed this year. Um, this is not something they really hyped up at all. They they talked about it like briefly, I think, in a card someone said. But if you actually looked at any of their press materials or uh, uh, solicit materials leading up to the box, it was all Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, and that it was a Star Wars box. So, you know, threw me off a little bit when I opened it up and there's a Star Trek item. Loot Crate is much broader this month. We're talking Loot Crate. Uh, they've got an exclusive pop featuring um, Han Solo in snow gear. Exclusives are always good. Uh, continuing Star Wars, they have BB-8 socks, which are pretty awesome. Uh, if you're a fan of the galaxy, you might like Galaxy Quest with a uh, emblem patch that's a Loot Crate exclusive and also a replica from the film. And then finally, they've got a uh, box from uh, Ammo Box of Halo. And then finally, and another item from Halo 5, Guardians of Downloadable Stuff. So uh, going over each of them, the one thing I dislike on the Loot Crate is the Halo 5 game. I don't have an Xbox One yet, so it's kind of use useless for me. Uh, am I going to keep it around? Absolutely, just because at some point I probably will have an Xbox One and probably get uh, Halo 5. Oh yeah, I also forgot. There's also a t-shirt for Loot Crate. We have an ugly sweater holiday t-shirt that's funny, that's got some space stuff. Um... Space Shuttle, Snowman, stuff like that, in an 8-bit eight uh, form. Uh, so back to that. So the, uh, the worst item of the Loot Crate, I think, is the uh, Halo 5, just because, you know, not everyone has an uh, Xbox One, so it's not going to be super useful. Uh, the Nerd Block, though, it's a lot of choices this for clunkers. Uh, the Mouse Pad, I think, is kind of cheatsy. The uh, Ice Cube trays are neat, but eh. They've been doing a lot of these keychains, while the keychain's better than a lot of other keychains that have come out. It's kind of blah. And then the, the pop figure, it's not exclusive. There's nothing special about it. Um, so, yeah. I mean, comparatively, it, it's, it's a slam dunk. I mean, Loot Crate blows Nerd Block out of the water this month. Um, let's face it, you, comparing the, the two pops, you got an exclusive versus non-exclusive. Done. Uh, the t-shirts, I like the Loot Crate one more so than the Nerd Block one, even though it's not Star Wars. I don't know if I'd wear a shirt with Kylo Ren's face on it. It's just not my style. This I would wear at least for the holidays as a goof. So there's that. Uh, so t-shirts, Loot Crate's got the winner. Uh, when it comes, I don't even know how you want to mash things up. Uh, when it comes to the rest, between Ice Cube, Keychain, and Matt versus Socks, uh, Patch, Tin, and then the, the Halo 5 Guardians thing, even though I'm not going to use the Halo 5 Guardians thing for a while, uh, Loot Crate still wins all those items. I mean, the Socks alone, I think, beat every single item uh, for Nerd Block. The Tin beats every single item for Nerd Block. Uh, and the patch, I, you know, that's probably maybe the weakest that's left other than the code, so, 
Um, and even then, I would take that over everything else. So it's it's just it's not even close this month as to which is the better box. Loot Crate, hands down, the winner. Um, ironically, if you wanted the better Star Wars box, I would have to go with the Loot Crate. I think the exclusive pop and the socks blow away everything that Nerd Block offered. You could probably find all this stuff uh, for sale cheaper than buying the uh, Nerd Block itself. So uh, it is what it is. Not every single month is uh, is close or uh, yeah, even, I think, debatable. This one's a pretty easy, easy slam dunk decision. Thanks for watching. You can catch us every single day. This is Graphic Policy Television. I'm Brett. Uh, you can hate on my decision in the comments. I totally understand, but it's my opinion. Tough luck. Uh, you can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, thanks for watching, and keep it geeky.